Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here in La Jolla, California. Behind me are the famous cliffs of La Jolla, and uh, they do hang gliding and parasailing off of these cliffs. Not right now. The winds aren't right. They don't have any customers. If I gave them money, they might take me off, but then who would film this thing? So let's talk about these waves. This is kind of interesting. Wave energy is an amazing way for energy to transfer from one place to another. As you watch waves come in, it looks like it's moving in, a lot of water is coming ashore. And as you go out and look at the entire ocean, you realize, wow, there's lots and lots of waves out there. Well, the truth is, all of that water isn't coming ashore. The ocean isn't washing ashore. Just the energy from the wave. That energy from the wave is kind of a unique situation. Wind, or in some cases, earthquakes at different points in the world, cause disruptions in the surface. And that frictional force of wind going across the water produces this disturbance. Now, if you lift water above a rest position, it has potential energy. So it wants to fall. The characteristic of the wave, however, is that the energy of that lifting moves while the water itself just rises up and down. So if you look at a surfer or somebody who's floating on the water, they float up and down as the wave goes under them. They go up and down. The energy from the wave moves towards the shore. As the wave goes by, the surfer will rise up and down. I'm here at Del Mar, California. I'm gonna go play in the waves a little bit. The idea, of course, is that the wave energy comes in in a transverse way. The water goes up and down, but if you catch it just right, you can ride the wave in. Basically what you're doing is falling down the face of the wave, and as the wave propagates towards the shore, you continue to get pushed towards the shore. They've loaned me a boogie board, which I've never used before. Let's see if it works. Maybe I should take the sunglasses off. In order for this to work properly, my velocity is going to be about the same as the wave. So a regular boogie boarder would have fins that would allow him to get greater velocity. All I got are these little feet here. They ain't helping her off a lot. But here's the whole idea. Thanks a lot. That was fun. And salty. Apparently there's some skill involved. Now a surfer will sit for a while waiting for the perfect wave to come in. Waves come in sets. An interesting dynamic at the shoreline is that, in fact, a portion of the top of the wave actually comes into shore, but then all of that water's got to go back out, and that produces something called a riptide. And that drowns a lot of uh, East Coasters who don't know about it. People who have never been in the surf, all of a sudden they're being dragged out to sea and they fight it instead of riding the riptide out and letting it surface when it gets out there. A lot of dynamics that goes on right at the shoreline itself to cause this wave cresting. But you can see that as the wave energy passes, 
he's just bobbing up and down. It's not until he designs his board and he rides the crest of a wave and basically he's falling down the front of the wave and as the wave energy propagates towards shore he continues to fall forward down the front of that wave. That's what surfing is. It takes a lot of practice and you got to get the speed just right. Here he goes. He's catching his speed and a small wave. Disappointment. A disturbance up and down in a material can propagate an energy wave a great distance away. In the case of ocean waves, wind and possibly storms on one side of the ocean can create waves that will travel all the way across the ocean and land on a shore somewhere else. Now when a surfer is going out into the ocean, he rides along the water and he's paddling relative to the water and the wave's coming in, but he's not riding the wave, he's riding the water. The water's simply going up and down. So when the surfer hits a point, he goes up or down and she goes up and down and continues out into the ocean. When a surfer rides the wave in, they're riding the hill and the hill is the part of the energy. They get to the downhill side of that. And basically, they're falling downhill. As the wave energy moves in, they just continue to fall down that hill. It takes a lot of practice, and it's an incredible skill, but it's a lot of fun. Surfers seem to enjoy it.